new friend from Horse Spirit Penetrates. Your name? Kieran. Kieran, and he's in a band that has a horse name, and they rock really hard. And I wanted to ask you about your animalness today. You know, we were just on tour, and it was amazing. Like when we rolled into uh, Lexington, Kentucky, there's a huge billboard that says "Horse Capital of the World," and there's like thousands of horses everywhere and the surrounding like not in the city of course but all the land surrounding it is just completely like filled with horses and it was like you know it felt really good for us to play in that town and be able to like I mean a place where the horse spirit like thoroughly penetrates now <laughs> it's a ten dollar cover the dollar cover could you be on my guest list sure um, so, yeah, I mean, like, definitely, I mean, our name comes from, like, a more psychedelic vision than our, than our armor world. It's a great name. So, tell me more about, uh, your humanness. Well, you know, I mean, I guess, just, uh, buzzing around us, and that's an intense kind of animal. Totally, man. I was just taking a nap, and there's one landing on my face many, many times. Do you have any closing comments that you'd like to tell just about your scene or yourself? Well, I'm just really glad to be here. All this is it's relaxing. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, so we're here with Galen and Echo, and I'm going to ask them, how do you feel about your animalness today? What do you think, Echo? Are you feeling especially animalistic? Mm-hmm. You seem very animal almost every time I see you. <laughs> I think I was, I was thinking about this question. I was preparing for it. And I think maybe possum is, is my answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's great answer. You know, people sometimes compare me to an armadillo. Oh, really? Like, that's what Dan Bunny calls me, and I think that's really appropriate. Do you have a very hard shell? No, no, not like, not like a scared armadillo, just like, kind of like a... It's super hard to explain. I, I can, I sort of understand that. I know, I know, it's really, it doesn't... It's not an easy answer. But, Echo, what do you think of this mouse? It's a very long tail. When you were uh, having Echo, did you feel like you related to which kind of animal having a birth, like a human or a cow? Or a... No, I felt like a, a boat. A boat? With um, his timbers were shifting. That's so good. That's but such a good answer. I did feel like a cow when I tried to use a <laughs> yeah. breast pump and I stopped immediately. <laughs> yeah. I know, the cow image is, off, is so obvious. But, um, the press. <laughs> oh, Echo. Oh, I hear something. Okay, somebody. and tell me about your humanness today. What about our humanness? We're holding on by a thin <laughs> to our humanness. <laughs> this is Jasmine of Cabinet of Not Natural Curiosities, and I wanted to ask her about her <laughs> an- animalness today. <laughs> Tell me about how your animal is. My animalness? Yeah. Um, I have a lot of animalness. Um, you do. I have weird attractions to animals. Like, um, 
at my parents' house, there was this cardinal where if I were in any room on the side of their house, the cardinal would come and come keep hitting on the window and if I to moved to the next to you? yeah it was really crazy and my parents called it my my cardinal your cardinal yeah because whenever I came to their house the cardinal would start flying around the house my mom said it's because I had really weird energy for cardinal things. that's a good answer yeah. is your mom into the animals yeah. um she likes animals a lot she's just she's an Aquarius yeah, she like a <laughs> yeah. <person. laughs> yeah so I'm also an armadillo. Oh yeah. Yeah. What about um, humans? Uh, humans. I like humans too. <laughs> yeah, they're really healthy. There are many different kinds, like many different animals. Why you're here, Zed? I'm here for the Rock and Animal Show uh, to jam and rock on the radio and to play a great set. What is your animal nature today? I'm. I would call myself moose-like with a little bit of tigery, apey. Um, Snaky, gerbily, um, lion like. Can you show the video your snake? What about your gerbil nature? I want to know about that. I was wondering about that myself after I said it. <laughs> That's a pretty the, interesting one. That sounds the best. Seeing the world from a different perspective. Uh, does that mean like you're in like one of those habit trails? Like... No, from a different like actual oh, viewpoint. From I small down low looking up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about your uh, tigerness? I don't think. Uh, does that need explanation? No. What about your humanness? That's just liking to connect to everyone else here on the animal show. Okay, thanks, man. That was Zed of SMO. All right. Was a really good ending, actually. The human. Ask about the humanness, and then you'll get like the perfect ending answer. Just connect. That's a loaded question. Are we still rolling? Do you like yourself too? No, it's got to be. the same type of person that I know how to deal with, so I don't want to assume things about them, but I also don't want to just assume they're not a person because they don't talk. Let me get back to you for a second. Thank you. That was really, really interesting. 